Hello everybody on YouTube land and I've got another review for you today on October 5th and that is for Gremlins. Gremlins is um, by any doubt a complete classic of its type. You know it's a fantastic movie. I mean the film was made in 1984 and I first saw this when I was about I guess about seven, eight maybe. And I remember begging mum and dad to watch this because it looks so good. And they were a bit dubious because it is a 15. It is, has got a lot of horror elements to it. Um, some of the gore, some of the, the scenes like the Christmas tree scene. That's quite a scary scene for kids. Um, however, I thought it was hilarious, the, the scene with the stair lift. Um, no spoilers, but I'm sure you've seen it. Um, but I, I simply absolutely love Gremlins. I mean, Gremlins is an all-time classic. It's basically about um, a young lad who sees a gift from his dad of a little creature called Mowgli. And if you get him wet, or you feed him after midnight, no, that's wrong. If you get him wet, <laughs> yeah, all these Gremlins pop out of him. And if you feed them after midnight, they they turn to right evil bastards. <laughs> Hence the title, Gremlins. Um, and it's basically a horror comedy thriller. Um, it's very beautifully made. I mean, it's, it's directed by Joe Dante, who has done some of my favourite movies over the years. Um, and the cast are great, and I was quite lucky to meet some of the cast from this movie as well. Um, I mean, I, I love Phoebe Cates as well. It is Cates, I hope. Uh, she is a fantastic actress who seems to have gone off the radar, but uh, she was an awesome Drop Dead Fred, if you remember. And she was a truly brilliant actress, and I really miss her on the screen these days. Um... But yeah, I mean, Zach Gadigan, he's good as well. Um, I remember meeting him and he was really friendly. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I, you know, there's quite a lot of talent behind this movie. You've got Spielberg, you've got Frank Marshall, Kathleen Kennedy, Chris, Christopher Columbus, of course, and directed by Joe Dante and uh, music by Jerry Goldsmith. So it's a winning combination. And I love the way it's filmed, the way it's set up. 10 out of 10. You've got to watch Gremlins. And that's directed by the guy who does the voice of Stripe, who was also in uh, Michael Winslow, who was in the uh, Police Academy movies, uh, as the guy who does the beatbox voices and everything. Amazing. Uh, and while I was it, Gremlins 2. Uh, Gremlins 2 is a very good sequel. It's not as good as original, quite easily and normal, but I actually thoroughly enjoyed Gremlins 2. It's mad, it's bonkers, and it has my favourite... <laughs> favourite moment of the both movies where um, the, a gremlin can actually talk and he's talking on the television <laughs> interview show with a guy dressed up as Dracula yeah and uh, <laughs> and basically uh, this little gremlin pops up and goes starts making a noise and the, and the gremlin that talks shoots him and he says is that civilised? No. Fun? But not clearly civilised and <laughs> I just love his voice. It's very, very... <laughs> yeah, I can't describe... I can't do the voice. But my God, is that a funny moment for me. I love it. So, Gremlins 2 is not as strong, not as good, and a bit more gorier in some scenes, believe it or not. Especially a scene with um, a shredder. I always remember that for being pretty... Bleh. So, <laughs> it's probably not so bad nowadays. But um, Anyway, yeah, so, Gremlins 1, I would give a... 10 out of 10. Gremlins 2, I would go about a 9. I really enjoy it. So, a couple of good movies to watch, um, and I highly recommend you watch them over the Halloween period, because it's they're a lot of fun, aren't they? Um, got some more horror reviews coming soon, and I'm doing my first shout-outs a little later on today. So, see you guys soon for that.